Hey guys! Happy Monday, it's just been days since I've seen you. Um, just to let you know before I begin this week, uh, next week is Viewer's Choice Week, so this is something we do on the channel, you know, every few months. Um, so if you guys have something that you would like us to talk about, um, either a question that you have about your personal gender journey, um, a topic that you think relates to everyone that you want us to discuss, a link that you found interesting, anything like that, um, feel free to submit it. Um, you can either message our channel, so just click on Genderqueer Chat and send us a message. You can send us an email or you can comment on this video. Just for simplicity's sake, just post them all on the Monday video if you guys have a topic for us. And uh, we will pick one we really like and we will talk about it next week. Um, so, this week we're just kind of doing a fun, fun little topic, which is we are talking about a TV show or film that we've seen recently and we're reviewing it with gender in mind. Um, I actually f have found that I don't often um, look at a piece of cinema or TV um, through a gender specific lens, um, I guess because my gender identity is just sort of an incidental thing for me rather than kind of the defining point of who I am. Um, I don't, you know, often look objectively at like a movie and just be like, oh, well, I thought the gender dynamic was really interesting here. Um, but I'm going to be talking about a TV show that I've started recently uh, and really enjoy that actually really got me thinking about gender, which is Battlestar Galactica. Um, it's the remake, so it's not the 70s version, um, but I'll post a link to a, a little trailer of it or something. Um, so, I'm, there won't be any spoilers per se in this video. I'm just going to talk about the characters and just kind of the general idea of the plot. So, yeah, I don't think, I'm only like halfway through the second season, so I don't think I've run across any tremendous spoilers yet. Um, basically, long story short, Battlestar Galactica is about um, humans live on 12 different planets and um, they have created these robots called Cylons and initially they created the Cylons to sort of help them in their day-to-day -day activities and big surprise, the Cylons end up having minds of their own and they um, pretty much wipe out the human race except for those who are in space, on, on spaceships. Um, and so protected by this big um, warship, Battlestar Galactica, the surviving thousands of, of the human race kind of picks up their government and um, goes and just tries to outrun the Cylons, but it's quite tense because they, they don't really um, have a definite point to go to, they're just trying to stay alive. Um, and it's very gritty. Um, as sci-fi goes, I think it's, I, I find it quite aesthetically pleasing and um, it's very complex and there's some, there's a really great range of characters. Um, so I guess the reason that I kind of thought about gender when I was, I was watching it was um, my favourite character in it is a woman, um, it's Lieutenant Kara Thrace, who's, she's a pilot on Galactica. And she's kind of, she's a badass, and she's just really like, you know, she's a great pilot, and she's always giving people attitude, and some of the, the stricter officers really hate her, but she's just, you know, she's great. Um, and this is unusual for me, because um, I tend to identify, identify more with men. I think I made a video a couple months ago about the fictional characters that I identify with and that I like, and um, they're pretty much usually always men. Um, you know, I can appreciate a good female character or androgynous character when they pop up. But, um, yeah, usually if I'm just getting into a show or a movie or something, I tend to gravitate towards the masculine. Um, so yeah, this was kind of weird for me. I was like, oh, I really like this female character. Um, and it's quite interesting because at the beginning of the show, she's, um, she's you know, she's a tomboy, definitely, 
uh, she has short hair, she's like, she's very fit, uh, in all senses of the word. Um, she, you know, she's a soldier, so she's kind of, she has to be a bit macho, and she has, pretty much surrounds herself with men. Um, and, yeah, but at the same time, you know, she definitely is, um, a woman, um, and I think it's kind of in the sense of, for those of you who watch Firefly, which is another sci-fi show I quite like, um, it's almost as if, like, she, she is a woman, but she's not, um, like, kind of like Zoe in Firefly. She is primarily kind of a warrior rather than a female. Like, that's the main part of her identity, I guess. Um, I think I read something once where it was about, like, Zoe in Firefly has this line where she says, uh, Jane, you're scaring the women, you know, and she doesn't include herself in that because in that situation she's, like, she's a warrior, she's protecting people, and um, the other women are not in that role. So she's, you know, taking on the warrior role rather than, like, the female role, whatever that is. Um, yeah, so... Long story short, uh, yeah, so, yeah, that was quite interesting for me. Cara Thrace, Starbuck, that's her nickname, um, was, yeah, she immediately jumped out at me, and I was like, yeah, this is cool. Um, and, um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. I was reading something about Battlestar Galactica, which is that it doesn't pass the Bechdel test, which, for those of you who don't know, I'll link some information to it, but the Bechdel test is essentially, um, I haven't got it in front of me, but it's the idea, you know, that it, if it passes this test, it is kind of female positive in that it, um, it has a scene where two women talk about something other than a man. Surprisingly few films pass this test. Um, and I wouldn't say this is a, a flawless, you know, system. Um, but it is interesting to think about, I guess. But, um, it's intriguing because Battlestar Galactica had a lot of strong female characters. Um, and I think Cara Thrace in a lot of ways is kind of gender ambiguous, which is why I like her. Um, but yeah, it doesn't pass the Bechdel test, even though the president of the human race is a woman, um, who's very strong and like tough. She's a school teacher and she kind of takes no shit. Um, and there are, yeah, there's some really prominent, um, active female characters who behave in ways that aren't traditionally feminine. There's a lot of female soldiers. Um, yeah, there's no gay characters that I've come across, but, um, yeah, it was made a couple years ago. I mean, not like ages ago or anything, but there's not a lot of like main characters in TV TV especially, who are gay. Um, so I guess I wasn't really expecting that. Um, yeah, but, you know, for, for a show with a lot of, like, strong female characters and um, at least one kind of gender ambiguous character, um, you know, it, it is kind of surprising that it doesn't uh, kind of stand up to this this test. Um, but, you know, I'm okay with that, actually, because I think it's a really great show, and I think the characters are all really strong, um, regardless of their gender. I think it's because they're kind of, like, pushed to the, their limits. Um, so gender and traditional gender roles are kind of, like, on the least of people's minds when they're trying to survive. Um, yeah. And it kind of gives... It's because it's kind of set in the future-ish. Um, it's sort of set up a bit like Star Trek, I guess, in that it's like, yeah, well, things like race and gender don't really matter. We've kind of, like, conveniently grown out of that. Um, which is, like, I don't know how realistic that is, but I think it's kind of cool when they just, you know, sort of uh, say we're not going to talk about that, we're just going to focus on the story and the characters. Um, yeah.
So it's just kind of like a change of pace a bit from real life. So yes, that's my review-ish of Battlestar Galactica. Um, it's very disjointed, but I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you've seen the show what you think. And um, please feel free to do a review of your own favorite show or whatever. Oh, would I recommend it also? Yes, I would totally recommend it. I'm totally addicted. Um, I'm, yeah, I guess I'm a pretty big sci-fi fan. And I was just really pleased with the show. It is a bit kind of gung-ho and stereotypical at times, but it's fun. Uh, yeah, and if you have any viewers' choice topics, drop them in a comment, in a message, in an email. See you guys next week.